Art is the artist, right? Every day. So what does your art mean to you? Art means everything. Art means to me, it probably changes daily, but um, at this point, art is the, it's essential. Not necessarily to me, but to everybody else. And then art has um, a different form of healing. And then that's one of the reasons why I paint and one of the missions why I've always painted is the, um, is to heal through art or heal through paint. So, year 53 of being a painter in America. So, so what is your medium? Um, it changes daily. It goes from anywhere from oil to um, acrylic to stain no and the other what? Yeah, yeah, you can ride a scooter in there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it, it's it's all over the place. It's not. I'm not limited. Okay, well, um, tell us a little bit about this piece back here. What this in here? Oh man, I'd be trying to remember. I mean, you have to remember. I did like four, 50 paintings a week, ah. but <laughs> so. And then I don't just like stay with one piece. So, but I would tell you every single freaking day, my mindset is the same. It's like, you know, I go to work and you know, this is what I do. I'm a painter, I've been painting for 53 years. And then at the same time, I have all these influences over the world, whether I like them or not, including our lack of politics or, mm -hmm. you know, the stuff we deal with um, and don't deal with. And then people that have it and don't have it. and then. I would say living in Atlanta, it's, you know, if you ain't got no motivation living in this city, you probably don't need to be here. I will tell you that, because it's, you need to go to Douglasville or out the state or something, but this place is not to, it's ain't like it used to be. You can't be lazy here. No, you can't be lazy no more. There's not a place where you can enter this quote unquote ticket. But if you do, you're going, I'm not saying you got it like that or you you getting it like that. One of the two. <laughs> but for most of us, <laughs> and then, now it, then we all also know too, it's really hard for young people to hustle like my grandfather. I mean, no disrespect. I know a lot of guys say that's, I'm not saying I'm not going to knock nobody's hustle. No, but again, but if somebody's still trying to hustle like my grandpa hustled, in other words, he pushed a little bag and you know, and he had a little moon, you know, a little mm. liquor on the side. And, yep. you know, then he got a little broke down girlfriend, you know, she getting a couple <laughs> dollars from her. I mean, I mean, you know, that's that's so 1960. So I think that's where a lot of guys, they, they know that. That's that's what we do. But you got to have something else to go with it. You got to be out there trying to flip a house, trying yes. to flip some cars. You know what I'm saying? I, didn't, I can go on and on, you know, I get a trade. We actually, believe it or not, there's such a need for so like so many things in our community right now that for whatever reason, a lot of people are not paying attention to. It's like, we, it, it's, this is what we were talking about the other night. Mm -hmm. And I would tell you whether I'm on camera or not. I was smoking some weed with some younger brothers. And a brother told me, he says, man, you know how much chicken we eat as a community? I said, yes. And he says, how come we don't have a damn chicken farm? Right. I mean, we eat more chicken and we depend on the chicken. And then we have all of these 1% black people. We are not, and, and the brother was 28 years old. He says, as a community, we are not thinking about essential shit. We are not thinking about the quality of the water. Yeah. We're not talking about food or the quality of the food. Where the food mm -hmm. actually coming from? Right. We just ended up, quote unquote, eating it. Yeah. You know, I can go on and on. This air, I mean, you know, what happens when the air conditioner actually turns on? Mm -hmm. So as a, you know, being a con construction business, that's Freon. So you're breathing Freon instead of real air. And so you're wondering why you're getting sick. You're not breathing air. Right. <laughs> Makes sense though. But no, yeah, if it's 90 degrees outside and it's right. 60 inside, it's the reason why it's, it's gotta be something to make the air cold. That's and again, you, that's what you're breathing. So I'm not saying that's gonna kill you, but again, if that's all you're doing, or you're doing that all the time, then so that's that could be that's problematic. That's gonna be a problem. And then you're yeah. eating this food. Then you so anyway, your grandmama. I don't even know your grandmama. Okay? <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you, your grandmama was doing the same thing my grandmama did. And what I mean by that, they didn't trust the government. They actually boiled the water. I'm 63 years old, I can tell you. We used to actually boil our water. We used to actually in the sound, just like out in the West Coast, where I'm from California. We'd have we would put our stock in mint. And what? Mint. Mint. Okay. And so we actually, in the black community, we actually believed in mint. 
So we'd actually have these trees, specifically in California, because I'm from there in Oakland, mm -hmm. where the mint would grow wild out of the ground. And it's like a little, a little flower, mm -hmm. and it smells just like lint, mint. Mm -hmm. He'd take that thing off, he just knock that little dirt off the root, mm -hmm. put that thing in some water, mm -hmm. he'd drink it, and that thing has some healing power, bro. Wow. I promise you, no, no aspirin. I can go on and on. Yeah. So what I'm saying is that people, you know, they automatically go to these, this, these, the we have, we have these remedies, and people know we have these remedies. They don't talk about them. So what I'm saying, we're getting away. We're getting too American. Is that we become more African Americans are becoming more American than the Americans, and so it's a trip. Yeah, it's it's such a trip. So you know, in other words, we're we're not we have forgotten how to love. Mm -hmm.